Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be making this adorable little card and it's a combination of different types of cards. It's a case, it's a hello card, and it's my card sketch. Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we are going to be making this cute card. We're going to be making the Daffodil Delight version today, but I also made it in the Melon Mambo. And then this one is with the Costa Cabana. The one that we're going to make today with the Daffodil Delight. So cute. So now this card is actually my card sketch for this last Monday. So you can see the similarities of the card sketch to my twist. And then I also cased this card, well the idea of it, from the mini catalog. Let me grab that. Okay, so this is the January through June mini catalog and on page 17 you're going to see this card right here. So doesn't that look like that kind of? Kind of, sort of, right? Kind of, sort of. I just love that cute little envelope and it's in the Kangaroo and Company right here. And then we're going to use that tiny little hello right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the measurements. I'm going to do some die cutting with you to show you how I made these little medallions for the front of the card. Aren't they cute? So you're going to need one in each color. The Daffodil, Melon Mambo, and then of course the Costa Cabana. Alright, so we'll set those aside. I'm going to give you the measurements to the card first. So we're going to start with the Daffodil Delight. This piece is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then we're going to use a piece of basic black cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. It's just a smidge smaller. And then you'll notice I cut out the circle that we're going to use for the, the base of the card. And I used the circle, the layering circle dies for that. So I cut that out so I wouldn't waste that. And then a piece of basic white, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. That's going to layer right onto that. Okay, and then for your strips, I'm using the Brights Designer Paper Collection using all the same colors. That's what's great about Stampin' Up! They all coordinate. So the Daffodil Delight strip, this is three fourths by approximately four and a quarter. And the Melon Mambo is cut at a half inch by three and a quarter. And then a little tiny piece of the Costa Cabana, which is cut at a half inch by two and three quarter. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and do some stamping and we'll do some die cutting to show you how I made these cute little medallions. So remember, this is the stamp set, Kangaroo and Company. We're using the cute little envelope and then the hello. Now this also comes in a bundle with the kangaroo dies. Remember, I mentioned this, I think it was last week, where I showed you the kangaroo card that I made and it cuts a little slit here. That's that die, okay? And then I have the little envelope die that comes in this collection but I have it set aside so we can use it today. Okay so that's in a bundle and you can save 10% when you purchase those together. And then the layering circle dies I use the largest circle to cut out the basic black layer here. Okay so I just put that right in the center cut that out and then keep that black circle because we're going to use that all right. Okay, so I'm going to get some basic white, and I have my stamps, and then the Memento ink. We're going to go ahead and stamp the cute little envelope, and we're going to die cut this out. Actually, it's pretty easy to cut out, too, if you don't have the dies. It's really cute. Now, this Hello is really super duper little. So I want to make sure I'm stamping it right. Plus it's a photopolymer stamp set so you can see exactly right where you're stamping. I'm going to stamp that hello right along the top there on that envelope. Can you see that? <laughs> it's so cute. Alright, now we're going to color this. These are the colors that I use to color in my envelopes. So, but this isn't the Melon Mambo. This is the Magenta Madness, but it looks just like it, doesn't it? So I use that to color in my heart and then the Daffodil Delight Dark, and then the Pool Party Dark. So we're just going to color in our little tiny heart. And then, I kind of studied the picture in the catalog, so they look like they shadowed the envelope. So I'm just going to outline the envelope with my Smoky Slate Stampin' Blends marker. Just like that. Okay? All right, now let's grab our little mini die cut machine. Okay, so remember, this is our mini, so it's really small. It's about 
uh, three and a half or three and a quarter inch platform. So anything little will cut on this perfectly. So we're gonna use our platform number one and then our two acrylics for the number two. Okay, so you're gonna need, you're gonna need both of them. Okay, so we're gonna take our envelope and then we're gonna line this up with our die. And then we're gonna cut that out. So this is what else I did. I took the layering circle dies and you're going to cut the smaller circle here with the color cardstock and then the scallop and let me measure these here. This is about one and three eighths size of a circle and then this one is one and three quarter scallop. So it's a little bit bigger. So you're gonna cut the scallop size out with the basic white and then the color, whatever color the envelope is going on to. So there's the white and then the daffodil. Okay, so I have a daffodil delight little envelope that I did already. So after you cut your layers, you're gonna use your dimensionals and I'm going to pop the envelope up onto the daffodil delight circle just put it right in the center and then also pop that one up onto the basic white scallop circle. Now the only one of the three circles that are going to go onto the card that's going to be popped up is the one that's matching the color. So you can see here the daffodil is going to be the only one that's popped up and then these two are going to be adhered down with your leg runner tape or liquid glue. Okay, so we're going to put a dimension on this one. And then I have the other two right here. So these ones don't get dimensionals. Okay, so only the daffodil, because that's the color of the card we're making. Okay, so then one other thing that I did do, I used the, these are called the Frosted Clear Epoxy Droplets. Now I have used the, the frosted ones, but look, you can still do the same thing to the clear. So you're gonna need a slightly darker marker than what we use to color the envelopes with the pool party dark. So I grabbed the Bermuda Bay light, and all you're gonna do is you're just going to color over the little embellishments. And with these markers being alcohol-based, they dry really fast. So after you put a coat of the color on, just go ahead and add another coat or two so it darkens them up. I found that using the Magenta Madness, I really wanted that a little bit darker of a pink. So I put a little extra coats of the Magenta Madness on there, but you can see it right against the white. It's so pretty. All right, so that's what I did for the little embellishments here scattered across the top. All right, now let's go ahead and grab our card. So we're just gonna go ahead and layer these pieces together first. This piece here, so you're not even gonna see that circle cut out there in the back, it's gonna get covered up. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna layer our little pieces of our designer paper. I found that if you layer your first piece, the three-fourths piece wide, and then take your smaller pieces and just balance those behind there, it lines up a little bit easier, a little bit more manageable to layer these little pieces together. And it's not anything lined up perfect. That's what you want. So the the main strip is going to be the longest piece that's going to go across your basic black circle like that. And then these two little pieces you can just use as filler. So then you're just going to go ahead and put your adhesive on the whole piece since they're all together. And I'm using the daffodil because that's the color of my card. So I want that to be the biggest color. So you can see here with the Costa Cabana, I use that as the main piece. And then this one with the Melon Mambo is the center piece, okay? So we're just gonna take this right to the edge, right about there. Then we're gonna put adhesive on the back of our circle. Line 
that up just like that. Then we're going to take our embellishments. So then we're going to put adhesive on the back two that don't have the dimensional. I'm just going to set this over here to the right. Now I'm going to bring these two more down on the daffodil, but bring it right over to the side. And then the Costa Cabana one over here to that side. And then the daffodil one that's going to be in the center that's going to be popped up is going to go up just slightly, a little tiny bit going up between the both of them like that. Isn't that cute? These are also my hostess cards for this last weekend. I used the card sketch and I used my twist on the card sketch and I used them for her host cards. So then you're just going to take one of each of the colors of your epoxy droplets. And with this being the Costa Cabana over here, I'm going to put it over on this side. The Melon Mambo on this side, I'm going to put over here on the left. And then the Daffodil is just going to be scattered right up here on the top. Isn't that cute? I love this week's card sketch. It's so adorable. Okay, so let me show you the other ones again. So here's the Melon Mambo. The Costa Cabana. And then another one of the daffodil. And then once again, here's the card sketch. The whole thing that started it all, right? So it is a case from the catalog. It's my hostess cards from club this past Saturday. And it is a card sketch. Boop, boop. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll have all the items listed down below. Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.